It's a windy and chilly afternoon here at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City. The Maryland Terrapins take it on the chin today. They go down to Iowa 23 to nothing. I'm Wayne Viner. That's intern Mason. Bruce is back in the studio in Baltimore. Mason, we came a long way. See an exciting game in a great place. What'd you make of it? Well, it was rough, I'll give you that, but I said it when they lost to Michigan, and I'll say it again today. They had their spots. They had their chances, but it just it didn't happen again. And Canada said he just wishes they played better today, and if they did, we could be standing here with a win over the number 19 team in the country because well, Iowa. Oh, you're saying this after losing 23 to they nothing. They weren't great. They threw an interception right to one of our players. You've got to score. I mean, we're at that point where your special teams or defense, they give you chances, and the ball has to be in the end zone. Three would have been acceptable. You go up three to nothing. And but today was the day where a team goes up 10 to nothing, they win the game. I'm the, afraid the not camera's going to blow over. You're but... really not going to be able to score through the air. Oh, okay, this is a team, uh, not trying to get in a fight on the air here, Maryland didn't get over 100 yards. There's like 55 seconds left in the game. You're talking about a team at 115 yards. I know if the offense had shown up, the defense was good enough to do it today. Is that is that where you were going with this? No, not really. I'm saying that you were handed the ball in an opportunistic yeah. spot, and you can't do anything. And that might be whether you know you're you give up let's say those first two drives all right you're down six nothing you still have a chance it's not that you haven't moved the ball it's that till you fumbled right there and right let there. a guy walk pick yeah. up the ball in your own end zone right there about where the H -A -D -A, where about the k is on hawkeyes till right then you were still in the game but you, were. you couldn't adjust you were down 13 nothing it happened you're still in the game and instead of running what seemed to be working throwing the ball over the middle and just not running that jet sweep play you were pretty successful but for some reason you just couldn't run the ball and you didn't Could give not. the ball to your best running back and Which is, you're saying it's Ty Johnson yeah just okay All I mean right. 39 plays obviously is not enough Maryland for them to get into any rhythm no rhythm at all boy I thought today would go differently uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors Meyer consulting engineers in Rockville you can take a look at their new website at mcecorp.com that website was built by Viner Four Gates Viner Four Gates your team for web for e-commerce for network Lenovo NCR all the great names of technology Viner Four Gates you can reach them at 301 251 2900 we're gonna hold off on running the ads we're gonna run a Little spot here of the Iowa band singing in the tunnel before the game. We will be back here at Kinnick Stadium in a moment. wasn't great. Uh, I'm, I'm with you on that. The offense didn't show up. What a great place to play a game, though. Yeah, a sold-out environment. Really just, man, what a great place for a game. This press box seats were pretty good. The uh, just 
Food? Food, yeah, food was pretty good. Um, so you said this place was built around the 30s and they just renovated it and inside it looks new. Yeah, they kept the old architecture, even the new build that they have going on over there, they have the same brick for, format and just great layout and all the seats, there really aren't that many bad ones in the stadium. Next week, Illinois comes in at 3.30 to Maryland Stadium. Seems a long way from here and a long time from now. They got to start getting ready now. You got to win the next game if you're a Maryland Terrapin. Yeah, and on the positive side of that, Illinois has not looked good these past two weeks. Last time I checked the score, Illinois was down. I think it was 28 to 10 to Wisconsin today. Last week, the loss at home to Purdue, 46 to 7. So Illinois. They haven't looked good since that Penn State game that they were in until the fourth quarter, where then they gave up 35 straight. Yeah, they gave up 35 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Of course, if Bruce was here, he'd want to talk about the Saints and the Ravens tomorrow. Mason is here. Cowboys and Redskins tomorrow. It's a great football weekend. We'll be back in the DMV, D.C., Maryland, Virginia, Baltimore area for those football games tomorrow. And before we blow out of here, your podcast has really taken off, which is the Young Terps podcast. You can check that out at www.youngterps.com. How's that going? Well, it's going really well, and we're going to have a further discussion on this game, sadly, because there's not much to talk about past the score. Uh, and just that will be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. Maybe it's time to start chatting a little bit of basketball. We'll talk some basketball. We're going to go inside. For Bruce Pazer, Retro Productions, this is Wayne Viner and Mason Viner. We're going to blow out of here. Yeah. Maryland, there goes the camera. Good afternoon.